Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Eric and welcome to another episode of Eric Challenge Time. In this one, I'm going to be making peanut butter. That's right, peanut butter by myself. Here's the peanuts. I'm using these butter peanuts. I'm gonna put them into the blender and I'm gonna see if I can make peanut butter. So I'm working with a total of one kilo of peanuts. That's 2.2 pounds. Ah, into the blender you go. Make sure to remove this. Definitely don't want to be blending that up. Whoa. I don't know. This might be too much. Oh, they smell good. Oh, they really smell buttery. Yeah, this is going to work. Next up, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil. And this is mainly for flavor. Not, not so much to turn it into a liquid for flavor. And it's, it's funny, cause when it's really hot, this turns into a liquid. Right now it's sort of a soft, sort of, looks just like a coconut, doesn't it? So whatever, maybe two tablespoons, not too much. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Wish me luck. I've never done this before. I hope it works. Get the top on. This is a Blendtec blender, by the way. I absolutely love this blenders. I make smoothies about four times a week. Yeah, exactly four times a week. And they are delicious. I've had it over a year. This thing rocks. They're expensive, but it's worth it. Yeah, all right, here we go. I'm gonna do, let's see, their smoothie mode. Gotta go high power. Yeah, here we go. Oops, looks like we got a blend tag fail. Let's see here, let's go. Let's switch it up and do it in smoothie mode. Houston, we have a problem. Let's mix up the contents a little bit here. Right now at this point of the blend, it's looking like the, the nuts that you pour on top of ice cream. So, all right. We, we're getting there. We're not going to give up. Starting to think now that there might be some liquids necessary to pull this off, but I'm going to keep at it a little bit longer. We'll see. Just keep mixing it up. Yeah, see the blend tech. One of the problems with the blend tech blender is you can't, you know, there's not there's nothing to really stick inside here. I mean, you can you can use a spoon, right, to put inside here to to sort of help it, but it's not really the best thing to do. If you buy a Vitamix blender, those things, it comes with this plunger thing and you stick it in and better, way better. But generally when you're just making a smoothie, you don't have to worry about it too much. All right, so let's try it again. It says blend tech overload. That's not cool. Okay, now I realize what I should have done. I should have just went with one bag first and waited for that to liquefy and then went with the other bag. So that was, that was my rookie move. All right, well, I'm gonna keep working on it. Let's see how we're doing so far. Oh yeah, definitely getting there. It's definitely turning into a butter. It's a bit too crunchy though for my taste, yeah. Let's see what it says here. Oh no, over temperature, that's not good. All right, let's give the Blendtec a little rest. I thought the Blendtec would be able to pull it off, but I guess not. Again, I should have done half of the peanuts first, not the, poured a whole kilo in. But it's it's working. It's it's going to happen. It's definitely more of a liquid form than it is peanuts right now. So it just needs to blend for a couple more minutes. Like you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. So we'll take a little break and let this bad boy cool down. Yeah, it is hot to the touch. I hope I didn't break it. That would really be a disaster if I broke it, you know, overheated it and, you know, busted them and the motor melted or something. But I've had this Blendtec right here. I've had this thing for over a year and it's worked great. So I think it has an eight year warranty. Yeah, pretty sure. So I, mean, I think I could get it replaced. Although if I overheated it because of putting something in it that couldn't be blended, they're probably not going to replace it. Um, anyway, I'll just, uh, Let's have a little chat, shall we? Got a beer here. This is Belgian gold. Focus, not on me. Focus. Is it focusing? 
Belgian gold beer. Yeah. This was a deal. This stuff was like, like 80 cents a can or something. And it's actually pretty good beer. So we'll drink one of these and let, let's just chat for a moment, shall we? Because I have an announcement to make. Mm-hmm. So, cheers to you guys. Cheers. <laughs> Too much head. I just put it in the fridge like a half hour ago. It's still a little bit on the warm side, but good. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad beer. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about was my channel is going to reach 600,000 subscribers pretty soon here in the near future. And I'm going to do a, a mukbang. It's going to be a food celebration and also a question and answer video. So I'll be sitting right here probably. I'm going to try to get my son to join me for it so he can ask me the questions. And what I need you guys for is to ask some questions. Because right without questions, how are we going to do a Q&A, right? So in this video, if you would, please ask me anything that you would like. It can be about food. It can be about living in Japan. It can be about health and fitness, whatever it is that you like, anything. It's well, I'll leave the, the topics wide open. You just go ahead and just type it down there as a comment. Or if you care to, to make the video even better, and I, I know like most people won't do this because they're lazy, but if you do, it makes the video so much better and more personal. If you could send me a video of you asking the question, then you can appear on camera in the video, if, you, if that's something that you're into. But I would really appreciate that, because it just makes for better video. It makes it more personal. And you can send me your video question at ericsurf6. So it's ericsurf6 at gmail.com. Just send me the file. If you use a cell phone to film it, make sure you turn your cell phone horizontal so you take up the whole frame. And that would really be a big help to me. So I would appreciate it if you guys could, could do that. If not, just post it down as a comment, your question, and that's cool as well, too. All right? And what's going to be happening on that, <laughs> that celebration? 600,000. I mean, I don't know. Every 100,000 feels like it's a milestone now. I mean, up to a million. I mean, I'm really going to go hard. So every 100,000 subs, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop and, and drink a bottle of champagne and hang out with you guys because I really appreciate anybody and everybody that is subscribed to the Eric Surf 6 channel because you guys all support me. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Domo arigatou gozaimasu. Okay. So it's cooling off. Let's give this thing another try. Taste test. Oh boy. Mmm. <coughs> it's really good, but way, way too crunchy. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is stir in some more coconut oil, liquefy it a bit more. I don't know. What else can I do? This is rough. Let's stir it in. I know next time just to put a little bit of peanuts in at a time. Yeah, what was I thinking? Or maybe we should pour some of the beer in. I mean, a little bit of beer is not going to hurt any peanut butter, is it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of that earlier? The beer and the peanut butter. Oh, this is going to be a liquid in no time. I mean, or a butter. And we're not going for a liquid. We're going for peanut butter. Oh, it smells horrible. <laughs> well, this Eric challenge time might be an epic fail. I'm hoping we can salvage it. Let's go in for a taste test. Oh, it's good. It's definitely good. Hmm. Let's give it some time. Definitely getting there. But this is taking way, way too long. I'm starving. I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Sandwich. I think we're getting close here. Yeah. 
Yeah, now I prefer crunchy, okay? So I'm not gonna blend it all the way to creamy. I like it like this, actually, but you can see it's definitely buttery, look at it. But I, I like it thick. That's good, so I'm gonna make a couple sandwiches. I'm gonna do this on croissants. Okay, so let's get these into the toaster oven. And we're gonna have some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. All right, let's slice these bad boys. Croissants, oh, that is the way. It's gonna be on this. Buttery, rich bread. And croissants, do you guys know where croissants are from? Do you know what country croissants originated in? Not France, that's what I thought. Austria, that's right. Simple toaster oven, that's all I got, it's basic. And how do you know they're ready? Oh yeah, that should do it. Looking good. Okay, it is finally time to eat. I think I've got the finished product here. We're gonna try it out and I'll let you know how it tastes. All right, now here is the peanut butter. It took me a long time to make this. And that's all I'll say about that. But it's definitely, I don't know, what is the consistency? It's it looks like oatmeal. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like peanut butter. We're, we're not quite there yet. I think I'll try again tomorrow in the morning. So I've got croissants here. Mm -hmm. Croissant, yeah. And I've also got some cherry jelly right there. Cherry jelly or jam. Not sure which. Jam, jelly, what's the difference? Put a little bit of that on here. I don't know if you can see that. But I'll show you in a second. It'll be close up. A peanut butter and jelly homemade croissant. That's right, from scratch. Going in for a bite. Oh my. Pretty darn good. This might just be the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich I've ever had. Oh my gosh. All right, let's stop here. This is an Eric challenge time, not an Eric meal time. But I do plan to make a video with a homemade peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, and it's gonna be a total meal. So, several different types of breads. Mm -hmm. Eaten several different types of ways. I, I am. It's it's my pursuit to find the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the planet. That's right. So, and I'm gonna do it all with this peanut butter right here <laughs> in the blender. So there it was, homemade peanut butter. <laughs> I still got some on the roof of my mouth. That was delicious. It really works. I, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to pull that off or not, to be honest, but the peanuts break down into a liquid. That's amazing to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and look forward, I look forward to seeing you again. Hopefully you look forward to seeing me again too as well. Yeah, I hope the feeling's mutual. This is the Eric Challenge Time series. I do these videos once a week every Monday. So I hope to see you again soon. See you in the next one.